Hey everybody, it's Teresa here of Larkin Design. Welcome back to my Bermuda Honeymoon Album Project. And so I have this layout to share with you today. And we are, the photos in this layout are a couple of random kind of photos just from our trips out and about on the island of Bermuda for our honeymoon. We took this trip in 2012 and so um, there's a really great story here that happens and this is one of those stories that I'm going to tell without having an actual photo from the actual story that happened. But I'm going to use these other photos here and so I'll explain a little more of that. I'm also using the Crepe Paper Wild Heart collection and the Wander collection from My Mind's Eye. And what I've done is I've pulled together some of the more recent Crepe Paper collections that have been pretty heavily travel themed. So you may see bits and pieces of Oasis in here and you may see bits and pieces of here and there in this layout as well. I've also pulled the wild stamp set from the Ali Edwards story subscription. That one was from 2016, I think. And um, so <laughs> some of the, the things that we experienced while we were on the island were a little bit wild. And so that's where we're going today. <laughs> So let me tell you the story, okay, the, the photos on this side of the layout are really just random photos from around the island that I took as we were cruising on our little scooter. And because I wanted to capture the island feel, the roads, the trees, and the architecture, and so those photos kind of capture some of that for me. Um, notice here I'm building my own uh, uh, words just left my brain. I am creating my own filler card here using that Wild and Free stamp and I'm also using some of the Alta New ink cubes. Y'all I love those ink cubes. They're really awesome and so I'm just going to repeat that sentiment across the card. It's nothing really earth shattering or not a new technique, but definitely a fun way to use your stamp sets. Um, and I really love that wild stamp set sets. It is, believe it or not, it's one of the ones that I probably pull from the most from my Ali Edwards stamp sets. Um, because sometimes life is just a little bit wild. So, but also on the right hand side of this layout are some photos from the dockyard at, um, in Bermuda. And so the dockyard, of course, is this really cool place. There's like shops and there was a glassworks place there. And the guy that is in the lower photo, um, he was actually blowing some glass pieces and that was a really cool thing to see and it was just a really fun place to hang out. But we went to this place called the Frog and Onion for lunch and it was a little Irish place and we both loved it. It was awesome food and there was live music there. And while we were sitting there having our lunch and we were just talking and laughing and discussing our adventures and our next plans. We listened to the guy who was playing music and he started singing Just the Three of Us. <laughs> um, to the tune of Just the Two of Us, right? But it just made us die laughing. And so that's really what the story is for this layout. And so I'm gonna write about that here on some of my journaling cards. And so you can see here how I have used some of the products from the Wild Heart Collection. On the right hand side, I was cutting one of the pattern papers 
And I just decided to use that pattern paper on that entire right hand side. So I cut it into the three by four pieces and then that becomes the basis for all of the uh, pockets on the right hand side. On the left hand side of the layout, I chose three cards and layered a couple of things on top of those cards. And then the other two cards are just white cardstock and just based on white cardstock. And I added lines for my journaling, right? So simple. And then, of course, I also am adding just a couple of embellishments here to the photos, just lightly. Um, nothing really complicated here. That hay card, I decided just to leave it like it was, and I did not add any embellishments at all. And pay attention here. I talked about how I did not actually have a photo from the restaurant itself, but I cut out one of their advertisements from some of the maps and brochures that we picked up along the way. They had some ads in there. So I just cut that out and adhered that to one of the cards and slid that in a pocket. And that way we'll always know where we were. And if we ever go back, we can go back to visit <laughs> and tell them how much we, how many times we've told that story since, since being there. That guy was a lot of fun to listen to that day. So, and I also hear this little Rolodex card was in the Wild Heart ephemera pack. And I just stapled that to that pattern paper as well to, so that it will fit in the three by four pocket. This little butterfly stamp was an add-on to the Wild kit that month. And so I'm going to just stamp and punch that very simply and layer it on top of that pattern paper. And I can't remember, I think that I stamped it twice because I didn't allow enough room around it. So, and that's just on plain white cardstock. Very simple there. And with that, the layout is complete. So thanks for watching, you guys. I hope that you will check out my blog post that goes with this layout at LarkinDesignTM.com. And be sure to like and comment and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you back here again soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.